All right, what's going on, guys? Your boy Uz. Of course, we are back again, once again, with a very different type of video this time around. So, like I was pre-warning you guys in some of the other videos, that some of the content on here is going to be changing, the structure is going to be changing, but that's all good because we're going to have probably a lot more than you realize outside of what we have here to offer on the channel. And starting off hot, or maybe not, I'm going to give you guys my complete thoughts on what I recently just finished, and that is actually the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon now whether it's a cartoon or it's you want to call it animation or something like that it's it's a cartoon all right this is one of the latest nickelodeon adaptations i don't know if you want to call it an adaptation to the original ninja turtles but this is the latest and <laughs> greatest teenage mutant ninja turtle cartoon and being that i am on a huge turtles kick right now i figured that i could watch this in passing while i was working and really kind of see exactly what's been going on in this side of the spectrum of, I guess, stuff that I enjoy. Because let's face it, I, everyone knows me for Dragon Ball and Power Rangers most more than likely, and you know probably some Pokemon as well. And Ninja Turtles is something I've never actually been public and talking about outside on my streams, but here on my YouTube channel, this is the first time I've probably ever mentioned the Turtles at all. And this is the first time I'm actually going to be doing any kind of review or content relating to it. And I'm saying this now because I definitely can see myself doing more discussions or future content towards the Turtles. Because like, I, like I'm about to say, is that on my kick, I've actually been reading the original comics and playing some of the older games. And I have been completely diving into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle universe entirely. So with that all being said, I wanted to just give you guys my quick review and exactly what I thought on this rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles entirely. So first to start off, this series is a about like 72 episodes long and it's a little weird because some episodes are actually longer than others and by what I mean by that is the way it was edited and shot, I guess they were trying to basically fit two mini episodes in one 22 or 30 minute time frame to fill like a slot on Nickelodeon and so you are technically watching like two episodes per episode um, some cases where you actually have a full-length episode where it's like 22 minutes long those episodes are actually what I would like to call the actual plot episodes and those are the ones that you're probably gonna want to pay the most attention to because it actually does play a bigger portion into the overall story of this particular animated series and i have to say aside from it looking really weird and goofy it is exactly what i just described it but as you watch it it does have a little charm to it and i'm not gonna lie because it is the turtles i did find some enjoyment in it but i'm also not going to give it a rating based on just those things i will tell you guys right now there were a lot more cons in this show that i can say definitely outweighed the few things that i did like so let me just go over some of the things that i actually did like so first and foremost the first thing that i could think of and this is obviously in no particular order because i'm just kind of going off the dome here is that they actually had a very direct reference to the original turtles and how they were so of course we all know that the universe of the turtles has ninja clans and whatnot and i'm actually reading the original like the very original comics that featured the turtles all wearing red and obviously you wouldn't know that unless you were reading the color versions was exactly what i'm doing and each turtle before they were colored fun fact they all were red so you couldn't really tell the difference between them outside of what weapon they were holding and this was something that i definitely appreciated full heartedly and i was like oh my god i actually popped off because this was during a moment towards the end of the first season that kind of i believe paid direct homage to that and i thought that was really cool to see and i thought that that was something that other hardcore turtle fans would probably appreciate if they were also watching this as well the other thing i could definitely say that i enjoyed was just that they definitely had some funny personalities and it did help with getting through a lot of these episodes now a lot of these episodes i'm probably gonna have to intermingle with one of the bad things on here but a lot of the episodes are definitely kind of along the bs 
terms of things where it's a lot of lack of a better term fluff there's not a really a lot of plot and it's more or less just throwaway episodes where they literally stand on their own and there's no actual reason to fully pay attention because like i said they're kind of just on their own but during these episodes if there was no kind of comedy whatsoever i'll definitely i would definitely be saying something else if they weren't funny at all i it would probably be a lot harder to watch but i definitely can tell you that the humor in this show was pretty okay for me to sit through the amount of episodes that i watched so that was not a very bad thing but of course i wanted to point out something that i did like before i get into all of the things that make this as bad as it actually is the last thing that i can definitely say that i liked was some of the fights had some really cool animations now the colors and how vibrant it does look at times and the animation style i'm not gonna lie it wasn't too bad it could have been way worse i feel like i've definitely seen a lot worse in a lot of modern day cartoons and for this take on Ninja Turtles for Nickelodeon, I feel like it definitely could have been a lot worse. I'll definitely take this over the 3D take that they had um, a while ago. I never watched that one and I'm not sure if I want to, but even though I'm not a fan of the individual designs of literally every character, probably minus Shredder, I will say that the the colors and animations especially for some of those um fights that they had were definitely up there and were really cool to see and i was like oh, okay this is kind of cool and i guess as a bonus i will definitely also add in there that some of the plot points like when it did get serious was not bad but again some of the execution and some of the decisions that they had for certain characters and these plot points that i am talking about they kind of felt a little weird and i'm just not entirely sure as to why they went about certain things the way they did but again it wasn't all that bad and speaking of bad let's talk about everything i did not like so the simple fact that they all have their own unique looks to them is not necessarily a total bad thing but i have to say that the overall designs were probably some of the worst i have ever seen for turtles usually the turtles like i mentioned earlier earlier are they look very similar to one another and this time around um they they definitely tried to drive it home that they wanted to make sure that each one was very unique that you could tell them apart without the colored masks and i definitely appreciate the attempt but i don't like how they actually came out obviously you get used to them the more you see it but just to look at how the original turtles and honestly a lot of the other adapted versions of turtles have come out this one was definitely a very interesting take not one that i'm i wasn't too big on but yeah overall it was not, not something that i like i can definitely tell you that i did not like the overall plot and how jokingly the, the majority of the show was i felt like yes there was humor where it was meant to be placed but a lot of the times it was just too it was too joking too memey and i i don't know if that's really the tone that the animators and producers were kind of going for they were trying to capture like this meme culture generation of viewers and uh you know watchers or whatever but honestly i really do feel like there's always a point in time where especially in a lot of superhero related shows where comedy can be so easily placed but a lot of times there was just way too much humor that did not balance enough out it didn't balance itself out well enough with the actual overall plot of the show and sometimes you honestly forget what the point of the show even is now this next one that i have to talk about is probably going to take me a little bit so please bear with me but it does have a lot to do with what i don't like about this show see i understand that with adaptations you really can't truly get everything that you have from the source material and put it in or when you do it right you actually can and I feel like this show tried a little bit too hard to be itself or to take itself as seriously or not. Um, and to me, I just felt like there were certain things and certain elements that were missing that maybe would have made this whole experience a little bit better. But I'm not going to lie. A lot of missing things probably could have helped it a little bit. And because they weren't there, I feel like it definitely hurt the show uh, overall. And some of the things that were lacking... Uh, there was no Krang, even though there was a kind of like a tease that Krang was involved. And because of that, of course, there was no Techno Drone. There was really no like intergalactic or universal kind of traveling. We know that if you if you didn't already know, the turtles are actually not just to stay put in New York City. They actually go 
into other types of dimensions, other planets where there's no Triceracons or Triceratons, excuse me, I, don't, I, I always mess up how to say their names properly. And some other staple villains like Bebop and Rocksteady, uh, yeah, they were actually teased for like a frame and they were never seen again. They were actually never used again either. Oh, and here's a, probably another big one. There was no Technodrome. And there was no mention of Dimension X at all. Something I have to definitely point out and talk to you guys about is the fact that I definitely did not like how Master Splinter was treated. Master Splinter is probably one of the most well-respected and known masters, mentor type figures and characters in many popular TV shows that are very similar in the style that Turtles is held in. And Master Splinter should definitely be treated with way more respect and care and in this show they really made him look like a very lazy fat rat that just didn't know how to do anything and to be honest it definitely reflected within the turtles the turtles had moments where they just didn't truly respect their father and didn't take him seriously and of course there was a few episodes where there were a little bit of quote-unquote training arc episodes and you did see Master Splinter throw hands and of course he had that ability to do so but there was something that I just did not like overall and the fact that early on in the show you rarely see any Splinter and when you do see him he's more than likely sitting on his couch watching TV. That is not the Master Splinter that we all know and love. Now I'm not sure if I can really put this in a like or dislike but I guess it's a little bit of both now that I think about it so I just wanted to throw this one in there as well. Not sure where this is gonna go but hear me out. So of course we all know that the turtles have their iconic weapons and in this one for some reason they were given mystical powers in addition to their weapons. We saw some teleportation portals we saw Susanoo-like figures. We saw projectiles. And I think Donatello just had some really high-tech stuff that just enabled his tech to be that much better. I, I don't really know exactly or remember what was going on with Donnie's powers, but they all had some sort of special ability added on to their weaponry and overall abilities. And I'm not gonna lie, during certain fights, I did enjoy them and I thought they were really cool, but again, it, was, it just seemed so random, especially when they did use them at times where they use them so like i said not really sure where to put this but it was something that i definitely did want to note and talk to you guys about and bring along in this video so some things were there some ideas were still there but like all of the things that i had just mentioned i feel like it had those characters and concepts and actual settings been had a place in this show and maybe paid a little bit more homage to its original source material. I feel like maybe this show would have lasted, but unfortunately, this last part that I have to talk about, the fact that the show got canceled is only just more proof as to how far away they strayed from what they could have done and instead gave us their own vision of how they saw the turtles and it clearly did not work. So as an overall score, I'm gonna be quite honest, I'm not gonna be too harsh and say that because of all of the cons that I just named, that it would be lower than a four, but I'm definitely gonna have to settle with a five. I feel like with what I did enjoy and things that did enable me to have some sort of um, reaction, a positive reaction, I did really did enjoy it. I really did like it. And after a very, very, very long time of getting to know these characters and getting a feel for the show overall, I didn't really mind it so much, but unfortunately there was just way too many things that were really weird and really wrong with the show. Not to mention, I mean, they kind of just gave you things last minute as you know to, to just to really show you how much of a joke the show itself took itself like it, it knew it wasn't serious or it knew it was on on, on a very meme term basis but unfortunately for them it just wasn't a show that could really stand on its own it did have good moments but it just wasn't a very good show so i'm gonna be as nice as i can and as honest as i possibly can and give it a solid smack dab in the middle it's a five you can consider that failing, you can consider that really bad, or you can consider that average. Either way, that's just how I felt. Would I recommend it to anybody of you that watch it? 
If anything, I would probably tell you guys to watch any of the episodes that were fully plot based. Otherwise, probably don't waste your time trying to binge through every single episode. But if I always encourage people to get their own, make their own opinions out of their own experiences. And then let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it once you are uh, done watching whatever you are. And I really do hope that the future of the Turtles franchise is, uh, of course, in good hands. We do have the Shredder's Revenge video game that kind of reignited my turtles love and kick to really uh take off and i'm gonna be definitely covering that game on my stream and on my other video game channel that you guys can follow the links in the description below as always and again guys thank you so much for tuning in it's been your boy Uj. hope you did enjoy this video if you want to see more videos like this or hear me talk about anything else that i might be interested in do let me know in the comments as well as well make sure to like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links will be in the description have a good one. May the power protect you. Lock loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay clean. Stay inside. I'll see y'all next time.